So hello, um, today we're gonna to be talking about some health technology devices that are available to you. Today, we're gonna to just be going over some physical activity monitoring and ECG monitoring. And we're just gonna be comparing, contrasting the uh, devices that are available for those things. In terms of physical activity, adults should accumulate at least 150 minutes of moderate or vigorous exercise every week. So here's just a screenshot of what a Fitbit will typically show you. But in terms of Fitbit and Apple Watch, they do um, monitor very, very, basically the same elements of your health. Um, you can see here, for example, uh, they can monitor the next steps, calories, which is just traveled, active minutes, the heart rate, sleeping patterns, and a few more other things. So what's the difference between the two? Here is just a quick screenshot showing, like comparing, contrasting a Fitbit and Apple Watch. Um, as you can see, uh, it really depends on one, the model, as well as really if you have an iPhone or an Android phone. Um, for Apple Watch, obviously the syncing is much more intuitive with um, an Apple phone. Um, and for an Apple Watch as well, it's not only a tracker, it can also be used as a phone as well. You can, you can receive calls, you can read text message and send out text messages. Um, for Fitbit, they're much more just purely a tracker. So it really depends on what you would prefer. And also there is a cost range to consider to take into consideration as well. And of course, this is more of a surface overview of the, <laughs> the um, the similarities and differences between an Apple Watch and Fitbit. So we do recommend that if you are interested, definitely take a look at the devices' respective websites. We'll go into much more detail on those as well. So now, uh, my so now Sonia will be going over the ECG monitoring. Part. Yeah, thanks, Anya. So the next thing I want to talk about was ECG monitoring. So there's a few devices that can help with this. And just for people who don't know, um, what is the ECG? So an ECG stands for electrocardiogram, and it basically records the electrical signal from the heart um, and checks for different heart conditions. So usually if you were to get an ECG order within the clinic, you would go into a lab and maybe some of you have done this process already, but you would essentially have these electrodes attached to you, which then would transmit your electrical activity to a machine. And then that would track the pattern of your heart's rhythm and send it off to your physician like Dr. Kernu, who would then take a look and see how your heart is doing. And now ECGs can be done in a pretty different way um, and a pretty evolutionary way. So we talked about Apple Watch already for physical activity monitoring, but what's interesting is newer versions of the Apple Watch can also monitor your ECG and this has been FDA approved. So it can record your heartbeat and your rhythm and it can check for irregular rhythms such as atrial fibrillation. And you can actually manually take the ECG anytime, especially if you're feeling symptoms like you feel like your heart is beating faster than normal or is uh, skipping beats, or um, the Apple Watch can actually track your um, heart rhythm on a day to day basis and pick up when your heart rate or rhythm are irregular and actually send you a notification about that and make you do an ECG then. Or if you're just generally worried about your health, you can also take an ECG then. And then the Apple Watch will actually give you a waveform and you can save that into the health app on your iPhone. So just note that this is iPhone specific um, and you can actually share a PDF with your doctor directly through your phone as well. So a pretty easy three-step process um, and it's very helpful for day-to-day -day monitoring too. So this is kind of what it looks like. Um, you can make sure the Apple Watch is, um, you know, put onto you the right way. You open the ECG app on your Apple Watch. You go into a rested position and essentially wait for the recording to take place. And usually the recording takes about 30 seconds. And you can also add in symptoms as well after you record your ECG and save those so that you can keep track of them, of what that correlated with. And then the image on the left shows what 
it would your results would look like so for example here it shows that you're in sinus rhythm which is normal um and then no signs of any irregular rhythms like atrial fibrillation and then it gives you an option to send that pdf to your doctor and just some things that you should know even though the apple watch has made uh, great strides in tracking your ecg it can't actually detect a heart heart attack so if you are having things like chest pain or tightness or you think you're having a heart attack please do call 911 right away and um, do not rely on the apple watch for that and it can also it can't detect blood clots or strokes so same advice there and it can't attack it can't detect other heart related conditions so high blood pressure high cholesterol um it's really good at detecting atrial fibrillation but there's also other forms of irregular rhythms um essentially other arrhythmias that it can't uh, detect so overall generally still recommend you fall with your doctor if you're not feeling well and this kind of second device called life core cardia so cardia mobile is basically this device that you see here where you can place your fingers on the actual pads and it also uses an app and can detect your um, heart rhythm and it, it can actually it's really good at detecting the six most common types of irregular rhythms so this is what it looks like when you open the app you can click connect to your cardiac device and it gives you an option to put your left hand and right hand on the device or you can use your lights as well so just making sure that you have skin contacts on the actual device which are basically the electrodes and then again it'll give you a rhythm whether it's normal or not um, and same advice here it does not check for heart attack so again if you think you are having a medical emergency please call right away right away in terms of the data, Apple data shows comparing Apple Watch to Cardium Mobile. This was a study that came out in June 2022 by Dr. Ford and all. And basically it compared the um, validity of the two watches or devices. And it did this by having patients and uh, mostly older adults that were 60 years and older use the devices to measure their rhythms. And then it used an actual 12 week ACG and had cardiologists come in and measure the recordings and it compared the two. And so when it compared the cardiologist assessments to the um, recordings by devices, they found that there was an overall accuracy for cardia for 91% and then Apple Watch, the version four was 87%. So pretty high accuracy in both with the cardia being a bit higher than the Apple Watch. And then they found that the uh, cardia was excellent, whereas Apple Watch was there. But we do want to end off by emphasizing again that if you are in doubt, please consult a healthcare professional if you're not feeling well. Um, these devices are great at monitoring your health, but um, it's always good to, to consult with a professional if you are not feeling well or call on one if you think you are in an emergency. So with that, we'll end it off there. Um, we're looking forward to sharing some more devices with you in the future. But in the meantime, if you have any questions or concerns or need additional support, um, feel free to reach out to both myself or Enya um, to help out with that. Or uh, you feel, feel free to email us as well at um, the email list here. And yeah, thanks for watching.